All right, we're going to do 8.1 midpoint distance formula. Um, you guys use this a lot in geometry, so this shouldn't be anything brand new to you. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm just going to do a couple of examples. I'm going to give you the formulas, which you have at the top of your notes, and then we're just going to move on. So the midpoint formula... is x1 plus x2 over 2, y1 plus y2 over 2. And a lot of you may have originally seen it as x2 plus x1. It doesn't matter. If you want to do it in the different order, it works the same. Distance formula is a pain in the butt to use. Not that difficult. It's just got a lot of pieces to it. So you got to watch your negatives on this and make sure you're careful. And again, you can do x2 minus x1. I just stick with x1 minus x2 squared plus y1 minus y2 squared, okay? Now I'm going to do four examples, two of each. It's up to you if you want to fast forward, go to what you want. You don't have to watch the whole thing. If you already know how to do this and you want to go do it, be my guess. I'm going to do four examples, though, and it's from the notes packet. All right, so the first example tells me to find the midpoint between 5, 3 and negative 3, negative 6. Seven. Okay, so again, I'm just going to do the midpoint x1 plus x2 over 2 and y1 plus y2 over 2. Okay, then if I want to show all the steps, you could do this. And then your final answer is going to be negative 4, positive, oh, negative 2. I have it wrong on my answer key there okay so that's how you find the midpoint um, let's do the second one is again midpoint so we can do the same one on the next one I'm going to show you the minimum amount of work you're allowed to show on your homework so again your midpoint we're trying to, oh we're trying to find the midpoint between 5 2 and 7 8 so it would be 5 plus 2 7 over 2 And 2 plus 8 over 2. And actually, that's as much work as you need to show. Okay, so if you show that kind of work, that's enough for me. I need to see something, though. I can't just see 6, 5 because I give you the answer on the answer key. Okay, so that's midpoint. Let's do the distance formula. So number 3 is the distance formula. So we need to find the distance between 9 and negative 2 and 12 and negative 14. Okay, so it's going to be d equals the square root of 9 plus 12. Whoops, sorry, I already did the formula. 9 minus 12. Make sure you're reading the formula carefully. I do that a lot for some reason. That's a common mistake I do. Squared plus negative 2 minus negative 14 squared. So that's going to give you negative 3 squared plus negative or positive 12 squared. Now make sure that you put parentheses when you put this into your calculators because negative three squared in your calculator is gonna give you negative nine. The calculator doesn't know unless you put the parentheses around it that you want the negative squared as well. So that's really nine and 144. Nine plus 144 is gonna give you the square root of 153. And when I first did this problem, I thought I was done. I'm not. I went and looked at it with divisibility rules and 153 is divisible by, divisible by 3. So that's 15, and you get 51, and 3 also goes into 51 17 times. So 53 can be prime factor to 3 times 3 times 17. That was a tricky one. I didn't realize that at first. That I thought it was a prime number, which means 3 can come out, and 17 is left behind. I'm expecting you to do the simplified answer. You will get full credit for that. You will lose a half a point for the square root of 153 for not simplifying it all the way. Okay? The only time I'm going to ask you to give me the decimal answer is if you need to use it to graph. If you need to use it to graph, then we need to have a decimal approximation. Okay? Let's do the last one, number four. And again, if you feel like you're good, you can stop now and go do your homework. So negative four, whoops, negative four, negative one, four, and 2, negative 3. So the distance is going to equal the square root of negative 1 minus 2 squared plus
plus 4 minus negative 3 squared. Again, this isn't the most difficult, but it is, um, there's a lot of places to mess up your negative, so just be really careful with that. So this would be negative 3 squared, and this would be 7 squared. And so you end up with 9 plus 49, square root it, and then my final answer is the square root of 58. And that's it. That's all you need for 8.1. If you have any questions, you can email me. Um, we'll ask your long-term sub if you're not in my class, or just stop by my room if you have some questions.